Hey Stampers, Diane Dimitri here with DeeDeeStamps.com and today I'm going to teach you how to do a card called the um, Pinwheel Card. It's been making its rounds among demonstrators and I thought maybe I'd just do a quick video for you. Um, I'm going to go ahead and use a sheet of the designer series paper called Painted Petals and we're also going to use the coordinating stamp set called Painted Petals and I just wanted you to be aware that this paper and this stamp set will no longer be available after June 2nd of 2015. And so if this interests you, you may want to make sure that you get that purchased um, this month. So to begin with, we're going to start with an 8x8 sheet of designer series paper. And I'm going to come in with my um, Simply Scored. And actually I'm using a di di our diagonal plate too. And one of the things that I want to point out is our diagonal plate has this little arrow at the top of it right here. And that little arrow you want to make sure is pointing up and that this is actually in the top of the of the scoreboard. And then you're gonna come in and you're going to score it at three inches. And of course it's going diagonal, so get into the three inch mark and go diagonal. And then turn it, three inch mark, diagonal. And turn it and the three inch mark and diagonal. And then the three inch mark and diagonal. And once you've done that, you're going to come in with some scissors or paper snips, whatever you have. Sometimes it's easier to see on one side of the designer series paper than the other. And I can see that it's easier for me to see my score lines on this piece of paper when I go with the green stripe. So you're just going to go ahead and cut those all out corner to corner. And then you're going to go ahead and pull your diagonal off. And this time you're going to come at the one inch mark and just go down to where you've cut. And you're going to do that on all four sides. Like that. And then I'm going to move this out of the way. And what you're going to do then is you're just going to come in and fold these. And so I'm going to fold these in and this one this way. So. Fold my green stripe that way. And you need to decide which side you want your paper to be the pinwheel and which side you want to be um, the, the predominant color. So it doesn't matter which side you use, especially with Stampin' Up's Designer Series paper, because it is also nicely coordinated. And so once you've done that, you're going to fold it in like that. And then this piece just gets tucked in there and that's how you make your pinwheel. How cute is that? It just makes a really quick, cute card. And then what, you're, what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually open this up. And on the inside, I'm coming in with a 4x4 four four square of Whisper White and a 4 and a quarter by 4 and a quarter square of Blackberry Bliss. And I'm going to, like I said, use that painted petal stamp set. The colors that I'm using are Wild Wasabi, Blackberry Bliss, and Daffodil Delight. And I got those colors right off the Designer Series paper. So it was just listed there, and that's just exactly what I'm going to use. And so I'm going to come in with my stem here and I have found that especially with the painted petal to me it's easier to line up the flowers to the stems and so I stamp the stems first and then bring in the flowers and then bring in my amazing stamp Ooh, there and then I'm going to flip this over and come in with a little snail attach this on to my blackberry bliss piece And then attach this on to my pinwheel card. And it'll fit snug right down inside there. And then go ahead and bring my pinwheel card together. And it's very quick and easy, and it just makes for a fun, cute card. There you have it. Now you could do a belly band or you could do some attach a flower or something on the outside here just to jazz it up. But I just think that designer sir paper really makes it pop. So there's a pretty quick and easy um, card project, and I will have a list of supplies on my website. So if you haven't already done so, you may want to visit, sign up for my newsletter where I send out tips, tricks, and techniques every week. Thanks, and I hope you have a great day.